In Jack Smith's brief, he gives the court a bunch of hypotheticals. The president could uh, ask people to kill members of Congress uh, while he's addressing Congress, uh, because that he's addressing Congress in his official capacity. He could ask people to kill them so that when they kill those people, they can't impeach him for killing those people because those people will all be dead. And other such examples are in there. Can we expect the judges on this panel to take in effect what Jack Smith has given them and put those hypotheticals to the Trump lawyers and say, is this possible? Is this possible? Is this possible? Well, 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 2024 and the Democrats are scared. These people are terrified, bro. They're so desperate right now to put Trump under the jail. I mean, how many charges he have right now? About 200,000. None of them can pin the man down. Why? Why ain't none of the charges sticking, bro? Because the man's innocent. Duh. But the mainstream media cannot stop trying to put Trump in jail and turn people from voting for him. They don't want to let you vote for the who you want to vote for, okay? They want to remove the man from the ballot. What's next, bro? All right, so here's the mainstream media. Telling you Trump wants to kill Congress members. It's just a hypothetical, but he's got to kill Congress members when he comes in. What's he going to do? The world's going to blow up. Sound familiar? The world's going to blow up if Trump get in office. He's going to take us to war if this man get anywhere near the White House. These people are crazy. In Jack Smith's brief, he gives the court a bunch of hypotheticals. The president could uh, ask people to kill members of Congress uh, while he's addressing Congress, uh, because that he's addressing Congress in his official capacity. He could ask people to kill them so that when they kill those people, they can't impeach him for killing those people because those people will all be dead. And other such examples are in there. Can we expect the judges on this panel to take in effect what Jack Smith has given them and put those hypotheticals to the Trump lawyers and say, is this possible? Is this possible? Is this possible? Absolutely. So when you are litigating and you're making an argument to whether it's a district court, an appellate court, um, up all the way to the Supreme Court, you always have to be prepared for what are the limits of what the the, uh, the sort of the rule of law that you are proposing. Um, and the judges um, are entitled to and will often ask questions that get to that issue, which is if we go with what you are saying, where does it end? Um, and so these are totally appropriate uh, questions. I would suspect not only is the uh, panel of judges going to be thinking about the hypotheticals posed by Jack Smith in his brief, but they will have their own. Uh, where they are going to be testing the lawyers to come up, uh, the lawyers on both sides, to come up with what are the limits of what it is that they are proposing. But I think it was an incredibly skillful use of hypotheticals by Jack Smith to really point out why Judge Chuckum was right to say that the whole idea of having some sort of immunity for criminal cases is just a road you just don't want to go down, that you don't want to have the sort of same policy that you have in connection with civil cases in the criminal context, that you just want to close the door to that to say, you know what, if you are a president or a former president and you are worried about doing something that is criminal, that's not a bad thing. That is a good thing for the law to hold you accountable um, if you are actually thinking of violating the law. We do not want a system where that is not possible. So in many ways, I think the big lesson is that we're discussing this tonight, but it is a sign of what we've come to, that this is actually a serious issue that's going to be addressed by the court. This is only going to make the orange man stronger, okay? He's only going to become more orange, okay? More and more and more orange, all right? I, it, this is, it's, it's just going to make him stronger, bro. They think it's going to take him out. But see, this goes to show, this tells you exactly who the criminals really are. The charges are supposed to stick. Remember, you char you're in charge of the DOJ, bro. The charges are supposed to stick, okay? You got all the lawyers. You got the DOJ. 
You got the IRS. You got everybody on your side, and you can't lock this man up, bro. You can't keep him in jail. Must be something wrong. The Iowa caucus right around the corner. Trump's smoking everybody. You, you can see the smoke coming from their clothes. But they want to tell you, you can't vote for him in Colorado. <laughs> you can't vote for him in Maine. Who these people think they are, bro? They want to fight, but they got one. They got to fight on their hands because ain't nobody trying to hear it. The hood voting for Trump. That's crazy. Would have never expected it to happen. People are tired. But guys, look, the bottom line is people are tired of suffering through this terrible economy. If you're a motivated person like myself, you know you can make millions of dollars. Somebody, some people, group of people, administration, making things harder on average everyday folks. It's not sustainable. Trump about to smoke him. Weeks away from the first major test in the Republican primaries of the 2024 presidential election. Former President Trump is dominating the polls ahead of the Iowa caucuses. 538's polling average shows him more than 30 points ahead of his rivals. ABC News senior congressional correspondent Rachel Scott is in Iowa for us. ABC News political director Rick Klein and host of the 538 politics podcast Galen Druk are here with me in studio. So let's get down to it. Rick, what do you think this 538 polling average tells you about how voters are feeling leading up to Iowa? Republicans like Donald Trump. They have wire to wire since the beginning of the of the campaign. And in fact, if anything, he's only gotten stronger. And, and it tells you just so much about this year as we go into this. You know, we're a year past the midterm elections where Donald Trump was at something of a low point after Republicans didn't do as well as expected. Ron DeSantis seemed to be on the rise. But all of that has flipped. And Trump is as strong as he has ever been, if not stronger, going into the beginning of voting. You can always have surprises. But right now, the surprise would be anyone other than Trump breaking through. But we're ready for some good news, man. We want to see DT back in office. I don't care what these maniacs say. It's been three years, almost four years. It's been nothing but crime, destruction, an awful economy, trying to do stupid things with our kids. We had to homeschool our kids. All this crazy stuff that's going on, man. We're just tired of it. Getting banned off of social media platforms and, and you know, for just saying something that somebody don't like because they're butt hurt. We're tired of it. You can't destroy people's lives and tell them everything's working all right. And then try to, the person that they want to vote for, you want to take them off the ballot because you don't like them. The Democrats, they don't even want you to have a choice on who you want to vote for. It's just Biden. That's all, that's your only choice. It's the bag of bones that you see on camera barely making a sentence ice cream eating it, it just doesn't make any sense there's like three people out there voting for Biden they know he doesn't have a base the man don't have any followers there's a good reason why because he's not a good leader so you know they can say what they want about Trump the mainstream media is clearly lying on the man continually ain't got nothing to report on it's trump all day turn on these look at these stations trump all day they're not making any ratings unless they're talking about him the people are going to vote for who they're going to vote for whether these globalists like it or not okay we're going to vote for them because that's what we want in office there's nothing you can do to stop it let me know what y'all think. Let me know what, what what you project, guys. If you see this thing turning out for DT, because I do. I don't want to hear any more bad news. Okay, I don't want to hear nothing about nobody's bad news. We want to hear some good news. Trump is smoking them, and that's just the fact. Let's control the narrative with the truth. How about that? Until next time, guys. Yup, I said it.